Do we want to do Resi 8 journalism? Sure. Journal photo things. <laughs> I guess we should go from the start. Oh no, look it's how gonna be a little bit tricky. it is. Okay, you're going to have to bear with us that other <laughs> games are going to pop up in between. Any trophies we've got on other games, plus also in Resi 8, will get in the way. Um, so, we'll do the Resi 8 ones and then it'll get to a point where it switches to like Siege or something. <laughs> or Genshin. <laughs> Just, we'll go with it. We'll, f we'll <laughs> think of a reason that it's in there, okay? This is the photo Ethan used to get his journalism job. So yeah. He took this photo on a Polaroid camera. And they were like, wow, what a good photographer. Yeah. They were like, we could use your photos in the newspaper. If we get stuck at any point, chat, feel free <laughs> to chip in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, when Ian started, uh, Ian? Ethan <laughs> started out, he found a goat <laughs> at the beginning and he was like, this is strange, there's just a goat's head in a tree. And this man was like, no, 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 don't, don't touch that goat, don't take photos of that goat. That's my goat. <laughs> oh. Oh, what's that? That ain't Wait. my goat. That is my goat. It's my goat's head. Uh, did you did you do this to my goat? Did you do this to my goat? And then Ethan's taking photos of... Slow down a little. <laughs> I can't keep up with go, you. Go, go, go. <laughs> Ethan's taking photos of this guy, like, frantically being like, what did you do to my goat? Um, and then we don't really know what happened here. He's like, Ethan has this is what I do to out. people who touch my and, uh, goat. <laughs> yeah, Ethan ended up in the goat pile of people that touch his goat. So he's like, oh god, I, I've got to get out of this space this is bad um so he decided to make a first aid <laughs> med <laughs> um but inside this place was someone who was still alive um and he was like i had the goat it was me i took the goat's head and uh i took a photo <laughs> of his nose <laughs> or ethan took a photo of his nose um, because, you know, you've got to get that stuff for DNA proof, like close-ups of the nose. And then Santa um, was there. But then Santa came and he was like, ho, 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 I hear you've been a naughty boy and you've been killing goats. <laughs> and uh, Ethan was like, no, Santa, no. And Santa was like, are you sure? Are you Ethan? Have you been killing goats? You're in the pile of naughty boys that have been killing goats. And uh, Ethan looked at the view and contemplated some time for a bit and he saw an explosive barrel and trees on fire and he just thought this is not the Christmas I was hoping for um, but then Santa's wife sure. arrived <laughs> Mrs. Claus <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Claus <laughs> arrived and uh, she's uh, really into skulls yeah. and she said you there Santa back off of Ethan <laughs> let's hear him out maybe Ethan didn't kill this goat Hello, Ethan. Um, oh, I'm talking about Rose, and she's talking about this person called Rose, and he's like, I, I'm not Rose, I'm Ethan. And she's like, well, Ethan, have you been a naughty boy, and did you kill a goat? Did you? Did you kill a goat? And then, and then here's here the goat. is another goat, because Ethan said, what, what goat? And she's like, I will show you an example of a goat. Uh, so she, she showed him this wooden glowing goat, and then he smashed it out of rage. And then the a friend of the other goat killer who also kills goats uh, was like, hang on. Why did you smash that goat? And where's my friend? <laughs> and uh, Ethan turned to this guy who was against the fence, and he was like, I've I don't know what's going on here, man, but there's something about these goats. Uh, you need to sort this out because I don't want to get involved. And uh, Ethan went into this house to get away from the angry goat killer and he met this lady and she was like, yeah, there's been lots of goats disappearing lately. We've been finding goat's heads everywhere. Um, it's quite sad. I lost two of my goats. I hope you're not the goat killer. You seem like a nice person, Ethan. And she was like, please tell me you didn't kill my goat. And then she threw him in this pit <laughs> because she wasn't sure if he killed a goat or not because they didn't recognize him. And then uh, suddenly this guy shows up and we're like, Santa? And he's like, I'm not Santa. And he's yeah, like, well, Santa. okay, I, I, I don't know what's going on at this stage. So Ethan just took a photo. Um, but then we meet this guy and he's been very aware of the goat situation uh, and he's he's sometimes given 
the rest of the goat um, <laughs> as a tribute to eat and he leaves the goat heads hanging where they are but he will sometimes eat the goat limbs and oh, good. <laughs> so I'm so excited he's throwing <laughs> his phone on the floor um, and uh, yeah he, he was like yes I've seen a lot of goat deaths have you got a goat for me I, I will sell you items if you can give me a goat um, but we had no goats because we did not kill the goat Ethan did not kill this goat so no. um, he was like off you go I have no time for you and then we met I can't pronounce the surname <laughs> Demetri Zuzu yeah, Demetri Zuzu <laughs> um, and she went ah <laughs> ooh mmm and then her statue was like oh no she thinks you're a goat Ethan run away and then uh, her daughter was like a goat is this a goat and then Ethan looked at his weapons <laughs> and thought carefully about what to do next <laughs> And, and he, then he thought, stole some stuff. you know what, I've got a lockpick and this looks like an expensive chest of drawers. And <laughs> if they think I'm a goat, they won't suspect me for stealing stuff. So he picks the lock. And then he goes back to the shopkeeper and he says, you know what, I am a goat. And the shopkeeper's like, oh, wow, you're a goat? Please buy my items. And then she shows up again and she's like, the goat who got away. <laughs> but then he finds this cool toy. And he's like, hang on a second, I've got to look at this and take a photo. So he did. And then he finds a ring and an eye. And uh, he goes to combine it. Um, because goats need to see where they're going. And an extra eye could be pretty helpful for Ethan right now. And she laughed and she was like, ah ha ha, you foolish goat. You think you can get away from me? Have you seen all the goat heads outside? Try your best. And she continued to go, ah ha ha, ah ha. But then Ethan was like, but I have this eye. So he somehow ended up back in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a fish that he found in this place. So he thought, I will eat a fish because it's been a long day. Um, but then he, yeah, he looked out at the pit and he could see in the distance. Uh, he was using one of his guns as a thing to observe his surroundings. And he noticed this hanging fellow. And he was like, that's not a goat. There are more hanging things, but never mind, because he went into a house and he found this picture and he was like, maybe these two people were originally goats, or maybe they were the goat killers in the beginning. Maybe they had something to do with the goats and everything going on. So he thought, I'll investigate this further, and then he found a chicken. <laughs> and Ethan was like, this is not a goat, this is a chicken. Ah. Uh, not sure how to explain this so he decided to go back to another house to check for stuff and then he found limbs like puppet limbs hanging from the ceiling and he thought this is interesting because these aren't goat heads either it's also not a chicken and it's not the buddy that he saw outside so something's going on here but then he finds this head and notices her eyes a bit wonky and he thinks oh no this isn't good because she might be in help of in need of help with that and uh, he thought about how as a goat he needed that extra eye so he thought you know I'll set this right and by setting it right he stumbles across this doorway with this jar um, and he's like oh I I knew that that puppet on the table back there was behind all this um, and goes towards the jar but before he can get to the jar he ends up back outside again and a friend of a friend of a friend from the very beginning with the goats uh, is like, mate, I think you hurt my friend earlier. Not that friend, his friend, who had killed a goat. Um, what the fuck? And then his friend came along and he was like, right, don't start on my mate because I'm his friend too. And I'm friends with the other two that you encountered earlier. Please explain to me what's going on. Are you a goat? Um, but then they apologised. And they presented Ethan with a lemon to show their sincerest apologies. And Ethan was like, I need to document this to show that these guys are misunderstood. They just are looking for a goat. And they've given me a lemon on a yellow plate to show a sign of peace. So he looked at the sky, or water, the water. He went underwater. Ethan decided to dip his head underwater just to clear his thoughts. And uh, 
upon doing so, he then looked at the view. Um, he saw these mountains and um, trees and the top of a well. Not sure why he took a photo of that. And then his health increased because he went to visit his friend in a, another game called Days Gone. And he went up to Deacon. Yeah. So. And he, he said, mate, uh, I need some health here. People keep thinking I'm a goat. And Deacon was like, don't worry, man. I've got exactly what you need. So Ethan's health increased. And it was a really nice moment. And he said, bye, man. Thanks for everything. And he went back to underwater um the ends and the means he had to think about it and his special delivery that he received um but then he accidentally got lost and he, <laughs> <laughs> he ended up in a siege and uh, he had to shoot this person um and secure the perimeter with his friend <laughs> and he was putting a barricade down and he was telling his buddies like guys I can't do this for too long I've really got to get back I've got this journalist job in uh, Resident Evil and I've really got to get back to it but they were like no you've got to keep going build a fortress so he did that too um, and then he shot this guy off the ceiling like just to try and help his friends out and he shot like this guy around the corner here and he thought you know what this is practice so when I get back to Resi 8 I'm gonna just do it even quicker so he shot this guy again uh, and then he got spotted by the scanner and he was like, oh no. Uh, but he did destroy a drone and he thought, okay, there might be drones in Resi 8. I'll, I'll try and treat this as prep as well. Um, but then he, and then he looked at a wall and he was just thinking for a moment, like, I've really got to get back. I've really got to get back to Resi 8, uh, but I can't. So he became a drone and he decided to drive along the floor and observe his surroundings and think, what's the quickest way to get back to Resident Evil 8? And uh, he looked at his sights and he thought about the eye ring that he found earlier and he was like, yeah, I, I think I have an idea. So he whizzed around, uh, took another photo of that and suddenly, before he knew it, he was back where he needed to be. And more importantly, he'd found a goat. Is this a goat? Close enough. <laughs> it's close <laughs> enough to a goat. I don't think it's a goat. <laughs> <laughs> he found a goat, a surviving goat. And he said, excuse me, people think I'm a goat and people think I've been killing goats, but I'm just a victim in this situation. Can you please explain to me what's going on? But the goat didn't want to hear it. The goat was also very wary of Ethan and the goat said, be gone and sent him down into this basement. Um, and Ethan looked at this pot of wood and thought, I feel like setting that on fire. Um, but unfortunately, Ethan was staggered. Um, Yes. <laughs> I was trying to think what to say. <laughs> uh, and then once he recovered from his stagger, he, he noticed Santa was back. And Santa was like, ho, 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 naughty boy. Naughty boy, no Christmas presents for you, Ethan. And uh, Ethan got back out here and was like, fuck, Santa's really not my friend at the moment. I'm not going to get presents this year. I've messed up. I've had to go and visit Deacon for extra health and then I ended up shooting people in Siege and I've tried speaking to a goat but even the goat won't be my friend. So he ends up back here and he thinks, I'm going to try and speak to someone else. And he notices this guy again hanging from a rock and he's like, it's not just goats. It's not just goats. There's something else. And then he meets this guy. How have I blanked on his name? Heisenberg. Heisenberg, thank you. There's a lot <laughs> happening right now. It's really hard. <laughs> he meets Heisenberg, and Heisenberg's like, Hello there, Ethan. The magic goat killer I hear of. The, the legend goat himself, who also kills goats. It's nice to meet you. But Ethan's like, fuck this. I'm, I'm not down for this, man. I'm not a goat, and I'm not this. I've tried to please everybody, but I need to claim back my own pride and do what's right for me. And he... He shot everything here, and he was all on fire, and Heisenberg was gone, and it was raining. And uh, Ethan climbed up a hill and looked down at his surroundings and was like, Wow, I've done this. This is me. This is the power of the goat when I'm not a goat. And uh, he, he looked at all these people on fire and these explosions, and he was like, Yeah, this is what you get. You kept saying I was the goat killer and you want a killer, I'll give you a killer. So here I am. And then he looked at this stairway and just contemplated for a moment everything he'd done and 
thought about it, debated putting his head back in the water to think, but decided against it and just took a photo of the stairs here. Um, but his, the, the, it's done. It's all done. The father's story is done. Um, he, he was a great dad. Ethan decided he's a great dad. Uh, but yeah, his, his story's done. And he looked at his results and he He thought, graded himself. <laughs> he graded himself with a standard and a 10 out of 56. And he thought, you know what? For my first journalism thing, I am the best dad ever. Is there another one? And then... <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like there's somewhere else I need to go though I need to speak to I need, a disguise. I need to speak to this turtle guy to buy some parts for I can't remember anything what's the name of the fucking game that you play in this game um, something <laughs> fort something fortress, fortress. <laughs> I, my brain's really gone at this point. This Fort, is really Fort hard. Fort Condor. Fort Condor. I need to just get a few pieces of stuff for Fort Condor. And this is where Ethan's story ends. Everybody. Best and Evil 8. <laughs> Hooray. <laughs> oh my god, Good that job. was so fun and so hard to do. <laughs> I hope that made sense and I hope that was yeah, great. Yeah, it made complete sense. I hope everyone enjoyed it. Very clear. <laughs> wrap up <laughs> oh, that's so funny thank you snarky i enjoyed that i might <laughs> yeah might make that its own standalone video to be sure. honest with my crowd <laughs> yeah <laughs> go streets cheering i'm so glad um <sighs> all right bedtime now I yeah think. i guess it's bedtime now well that's the end of yeah our resi 7 stream and our resi 8 journalism recap I'll see you guys tomorrow once the raid's ready to go in five oh. seconds. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm so keen to get to bed. No, I'm not really. Um, Goodbye. Okay. Enjoy we, the raid. Good? All right. Goodbye. Enjoy the raid. And yes, thanks so much for a lovely stream. Bye.